So we have the entrance the, the, of the motionless young man, uh, Bartleby. He's motionless when, he, when an ad is placed and he arrives at an open door. He just appears out of nowhere, motionless at the door, and uh, Amy's described part of it, but also incurably forlorn. Mm -hmm. That's his look. I mean, he looks like a lost sheep. Um, pale, respectable, but pale. Um, he appeals to the lawyer in part because, unlike the other guys in the office, he's not going to make any trouble. I mean, in fact, he has this fantasy that he's going to bring Bartleby into the office. Mm -hmm. And maybe Bartleby's calmness uh, and placidity will spread to the obstreperous uh, other two. It said several times that he, he is, uh, the lawyer is disarmed by him. And when he does one of these outrageous, I would prefer not to, so he thinks to respond and he says, but I, there's something in him just disarmed me. What is it? What is it? Is it the forlornness? Is it, uh, you know, at one point he talks about feeling a kind of commonality with him as sons of Adam. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that it's so much a response to the forlornness. There are times where he does respond to that in this very human way. He's touched by that. But the being disarmed, I think, is more the willfulness of, uh, of Bartleby, because there is something very willful about it in these refusals. So uh, the, the lawyer says that he himself operates on assumptions. And those assumptions are usually wrong. And then he engages in all of these kind of rationalizations. And he uses his prudence and his reason to come up with you know, uh, explanations for why he's behaving the way he's behaving. But Bartleby acts, he comes to realize this. He says, Bartleby just acts on the basis of preferences. And, and, and the preference is always a negative preference. It's never a preference to do something. It's a preference that I would prefer not to. Well, I, I, I just want to emphasize one thing that you said, the lawyer is a man of assumptions. He sees the world, you make certain assumptions, and people act rationally, and the world is a logical place. It's ordered and logical. Bartleby is not. Bartleby is a man of preferences and negative preferences, which presents itself as a kind of absolute freedom, um, but makes absolutely no sense. So the two so of them, though spiritually this far apart, are really bound in some way.